Well, I think Colorado is a pretty tasty place to live. What do you think, Chef? I agree. So many different types of food right here at our fingertips. And it's chefs like you that bring these delicious flavors into our community every day. Today, we are at Sushi Rama Osaka Ramen, joined by Jeff Osaka. Chef, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So over here, gosh, you guys have all this amazing eye candy, right? The conveyor about sushi. Endless amounts of things that are circling us right now. But we're going to go beyond that, deeper into your menu today. Sure. And talk about pork because you really use this in the cuisine over here. Yes, I mean it's a big influence uh, Japanese cuisine, um, especially in our hot dishes from our our ramen to our pork gyoza. Um, it's it's such a diverse uh, product, you know, because mainly because of the flavor and the fat content. And you know what they say, fat is flavor. So, oh, of course, yeah. we love to hear that. Let's start <clears throat> over here with this beautiful bowl of ramen warming us up. Yeah. Uh, at any time of the year. Honestly, I eat ramen in the summer, yeah. in the heat of the summer too. So this is one of my favorites, the spicy miso ramen. And it has the, the ground pork uh, mixed with uh, proprietary chili flavors mm -hmm. and some garlic and ginger. And then topped with our house-made kimchi, bean sprouts, uh, poached egg, and scallions. And it's delicious. The base of this dish, we talked about this, is that mm -hmm. pork marrow and bones that are slowly cooking. Correct, so it's a half chicken and half pork broth. So we take the bones and, and we basically boil, boil them for anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. So it's, it's a long process, but the, the result is, is pretty awesome. It really extracts that Correct. pork flavor Correct. and gives it that depth of Correct. base that you need for a Correct. bowl of ramen like yeah. this. This is a substantial <laughs> bowl. <laughs> this is, this is, it's pretty healthy. You, oh, you almost have to take a nap after uh, well, you eat this. Well, of course. Yeah. And for me, what's better than pork, spicy pork? Honestly, Correct. you yeah. add a little kick to anything, we're yeah. happy. I wanna go over to the pork gyoza here because oh. you and I were talking, chef, and you can find this in different varieties, but I think everywhere I go, the yeah. staple on the menu is pork gyoza. Correct, correct. In most sushi bars, you'll find uh, gyoza as an uh, option on the menu. But pork, again, pork is my favorite because it's, it's such a flavorful ingredient. Tell me, did you grow up eating these? I, I did. Uh, and uh, Fond memories? Very much so. My, my, my mom actually didn't cook it at home, but when we went out to our local Japanese restaurant, we would always order a plate of these or, or two. There were five kids. So or we, three or yeah, four yeah, plates. Yeah. You might need your own plate when yeah. it comes to this. I know. I mean, I could eat a couple servings could, of yeah, this because yeah, yeah, they're just yeah. that good. Guilty. We love exploring the different uses of pork in our community because that really transfers into the world. Yeah. Um, and we love that chefs like you bring these flavors from your childhood, from your past, yeah. into what you're cooking today. Yes. Yes. I, I, I love it. I mean, it's something that I did carry over from my childhood. And put it in, I was lucky enough to offer it on our menus here. Well, we're lucky to yeah. have you here in Colorado, yeah. Chef. Thank, Thank you, so you much. for being with us today. So many locations of Sushi Rama, Osaka yeah. Ramen to explore across our amazing state. Follow along with us, copork.org, and of course, follow us on social media at Colorado Pork Producers Council.